once Josiah from Journey with Josiah. Welcome to Frankfurt Airport. Today, I'll be flying on board United Airlines to Chicago. I just got off of my Lufthansa A321 flight from Kiev. I'll have that review out soon. This is our aircraft, a Boeing 777-200. I'm flying United's Polaris business class today. I'll explain how I got upgraded later on. Here's a look at the seat. It's very spacious, and I really like the colors. And it's very comfortable. As you can expect, there is a lot of legroom in the seat. Over here, there's a storage area with our amenity kit waiting, and here's our tray table. There's a little table over here with our drink waiting, and here's a storage box. There's a nice lamp over there, and here's our remote. The armors has all of the literature in it and can move up or down. Here's the fantastic bedding provided by Sats Fifth Avenue. There's a blanket, a very nice pillow, a quilt, and an amazing gel pillow. The middle seats have a privacy divider. There's two USBs, one here and one over here by the power port. Here's the seat functions. The seat can be made into a bed or just reclined. There's a footrest and lumbar support. There's lights and a do not disturb function. Very nice headphones are also provided. Here's a look at the menu for today's food. The cabin is in a very comfortable 1 2 1 configuration. At this time, United Airlines was really partnering with Spider Man. Spider Man was even in United's safety video. It's pretty cool. We've taken off, and the amenity kit is also Spider Man themed. There's some lotions, earplugs, a pen, a postcard, eye mask, socks, toothbrush and toothpaste, tissues, and this very nice leather bag. It's an amazing amenity kit. Lunch started immediately with some warm nuts and a drink. It was followed with my choice of starter, which was salad. It came with some bread, the actual salad, which was very fresh, salad dressing, butter, and some salt and pepper. The main dish I ordered was a beef short rib and port wine sauce. It came with potatoes, carrots, and parsnips. Here's the delicious ice cream sundae my seatmate got. I was way too full to even get dessert, which I really regret. I'm ready for bed, and the cabin crew gave me this bottle of water. The bed is very comfortable, but a bit narrow. The bed turned out to be very comfortable. I got a solid four hours of deep sleep. I was so excited to see that one of my favorite shows was offered, Big Metal Bird. I would definitely check it out on YouTube. I was hungry. The flight tent offered me everything from some fresh fruit to a nice hot bowl of chili. United had some of the most in-flight entertainment options of any airline. There was definitely lots of stuff here. The lavatory was kept very clean during the flight. It's very spacious. There's a baby changing table. And some nice amenities. The movable headrest made it very easy to get comfortable on this flight. I'm very thankful to have this. One hour before landing, the second meal service has started with a hot towel. It was followed by the main dish, which was chili. It wasn't on the menu, but I was able to get it anyway. It came with a salad, a bowl of chili, bread from the bread basket, butter, and a very nice box of chocolates. We are already preparing for landing. I'm sorry for not having any window views on this flight. So. What do I think of United's Boeing 777 Polaris Business Class from Frankfurt to Chicago? This was a very comfortable and enjoyable flight. The seat was very spacious and comfortable. The food was absolutely delicious. I loved all the food I got, especially the bread. The crew were extremely kind and proactive. There was a problem with the IFB for most of the flight, making passengers unable to watch anything. This was out of United's control. But the crew was so apologetic about it. The crew in this flight have been some of the best I've ever got. The cabin was very clean, and the ground crew in Frankfurt were very helpful. The seat unfortunately had a major problem. There was so much bedding giving, 
but there was no space to put it anywhere except for on the floor, which isn't very clean. Overall, I would highly recommend Polaris. In terms of comfort, it is much better than with Plunza's business class. I may be wondering how I got upgraded. While booking this flight, I paid some money to request an upgrade. This put me on the upgrade standby list. I was informed of the day that I had been upgraded. It's a very nice feature, and if you have high star line status, you usually will get upgraded. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching Journey with Josiah. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all next month. This is Journey with Josiah. Bye.